Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we started hunting Stoltzlas inside, well, at the bottom of the well. And in this part, we're hopefully going to finish that up. I figured out where the last key is. It's actually through here. And you come down here. Might as well see what's in here. Huh? Eh, at least we needed it. Okay, so we climb up here and head through this room. Okay, and here we have a somewhat new enemy. That is a Gidbo. It's basically the same thing as a Redead, only covered in bandages and more mummy looking. So. It's still just as susceptible vulnerable to the sun song, I should say. I can't talk. And you can kill it basically the same way. So. And dead. Okay. Since I don't really need the Hylian shield, I'm go ahead and going to go ahead and switch back to the Deku shield. Alright. You open each of these coffins by lighting the torch next to it. The only one you want to open is this one right here. So, so we don't accidentally light any other torches. We'll just use this convenient torch right here and light the Deku stick. And of course the keys, a couple of keys fly out. Dead. Go ahead and hop in the coffin. And you got a key. Okay, that's the last key we need to get the remaining skull tools in here. So let's get out of this place. If you open any, any of the other coffins, I'm pretty sure it'll just be more keys and more good bows. So it's not really recommended. The two locked doors we need are back in the main central area with the hole and the stupid floor master. Okay. Here's one of them. And this is just a pretty simple room. And those spots will come flying at you, obviously. But there's our Skultula. And die. Easy enough. Okay, I just gotta find the other locked door. We can get over here. Yep, here it is. And those keys are somehow standing on. I can't even tell if they're invisible platforms or not, because even the ones of truth can't tell what they are. But it's probably recommended to get them out of your way. Let's see if we can manually aim this one. Too high. Got it. Okay. May not look like it, but you actually can walk here. My magic. And go ahead and kill the Skulltula. And grab the last token. Finally. And with that, you can actually warp right out of here. And we are definitely doing that. Look as well. Might as well check. Every Skulltula. And I know there are some chests I miss, but all they really contain are like bombs, rupees, deku nuts. Nothing worth it. Yes, we are out. Okay. 
And that's all we are going to do as a kid for now. So, it is time to turn back into an adult. And we're back. Unfortunately, we had to say goodbye once again to our bunny hood. So sad. But at least we have access to our hookshot and arrows again. That's always a plus. Sorry about the cut, but I actually lied. There is one more thing that I wanted to do while I was still a kid. And actually worth having the ones of truth to do. Okay. Head inside this building, which I'm pretty sure is only open at night. Talk to him. Open the chest in. Surprise! Found a key inside. You'll be able to advance. Left or right, try your luck. Ten rupees to play. Yes, I do. You've got a door key. Use this key to continue to the next room. Select the treasure chest and see how lucky you are. Yes. Lucky. <laughs> Unlock the door, and you could guess which treasure chest it is, or if you have this magical little item, you can actually see the rupee and the key. Yes, this is the cheater's way to do it, but I really don't like wasting all my money guessing on this stupid minigame. There we go. That's fair, at least the farther you go, um, the more the the rupees are worth, but it's just so frustrating. See, who would have guessed that the next three keys would be on the right? Okay. Alright. And with that, we win. And what do we win? A piece of heart, of course! Winner! Yay! The only bad part is... He makes you walk all the way back! Ugh. Open the door. Almost out. Great, you are a real gambler. <laughs> you know it, dude. Alright. Well, I think that's enough for this part. So. I think we'll go ahead and end this off. And next time I'm Ocarina of Time, I will meet you as an adult in front of the Shadow Temple. See you guys then.